I got Mondays. Um, it's Dollar Tree Monday, Tuesday, which is Tool Time Tuesday. I am having so much fun with Tool Time Tuesday. And so today is Tool Time Tuesday. So welcome, welcome, welcome to Tool Time Tuesday. So you're wondering what in the world is Tool Time Tuesday? Well, it can be a number of different things. So down here, I have I have a recommended palette that says it is colors that pair well with red. Not all right. And I also have a new pouring medium that I got off Amazon. It is Apple Barrel. But the paints that I'm going to use today are not Apple Barrel. I have a bunch of them, but so what I've got down here is, I have a canvas down here, I've got my medium, the pouring medium, in a cup already. Um, here it is, I got some stir sticks here ready, and I'm going to grab some little cups here. So the tool today that I'm going to use is squeeze bottles. I know that sounds kind of weird, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, the cool thing about squeeze bottles is... Um, you can store your paints, you can put the lids back on them if you haven't thrown out the lid or lost the lid. I've got two sizes here. The colors are pretty simple today. I've got, I've got a brilliant red and I have like a neon pink. I also have white. Um, I have green and I have brown. The last time I used brown, it was very invasive, so I'm going to use that sparingly. I don't, I, I just, I'm just going to be cautious with it. I will most likely flood the canvas with white, which I have a bunch of white mixed up here. Um, the white is your Saks uh, white. It's a heavy duty paint. It's very thick and is mixed with Floetrol. So we got that all ready to go. That's sitting here in my squeeze bottle. I always keep, always, 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 I always have white and I have black. So I always have those colors in my arsenal at all times. And so yes, they're always standing by just in case I need them for something or white. Okay, so let me get going. I'm going to mix my colors today and oh, that is a neon it's supposed to pair with red and I will show you the palette thing concept idea that I have borrowed this from and color palettes can be used for a lot of different things they can be used for painting obviously um, they can be used for decorating they can be used for um, when people come out with uh, makeup palettes and stuff like that and you know and a lot of times I would when I would watch those videos I would think where in the world did they get their paint color ideas do they just make it up on their own and, and some of them probably did but a lot of them probably and this is a new medium that we're trying so this is from Apple Barrel so you just never know um, and I do want to try to find an interior decorator to bring on my show that we could talk about colors and how they talk to customers about colors. So that is something that I want to do and hopefully we'll be doing that here shortly. I'm going to tell that like allergy season, right? Whew. Okay. Okay, so you can see that I'm layering this up and then squirt up, put the lid on it. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> she doesn't have stopper in it. I even cut the maze a hole bigger. I have a stopper in it. Okay, so I'm putting it into the paint and I'm going to go in circles. So that it makes like a rose in the center. I'm a little mystified right now, and I apologize for being kind of quiet, is that it's very, the porn medium is causing the paint to be very lumpy, so I don't know, I'm hoping that it doesn't, let's see a bit further, do here. to my paint, but that's not good. I see a lot of bumps in my paint, actually. I mean, they're all over the place. I don't know. Maybe it's the type of paint. I don't know. It's weird. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Um, I mean, look at them. And since I layered my paint in the bottle, I don't want to shake the bottle because they want those layers to come out of the nozzle, which you can see is really kind of pretty. Um,
It looks kind of, it looks quite cool on the camera. I just don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm looking at here or not. There's big lumps in my feet. see where I could do roses with it you could draw with it um, I mean you can better. the cool thing no. is I mean you can get into the paint and you can squeeze it coming out of the paint so that is deep into that paint mm. um, and it will kind of once it comes up to the surface it will do some really cool things you've got your skewers here where you can open up the paint um, so like I said it is down into the paint um, like I said, you can draw with it. You can uh, do like this kind of concept where you go in circles and then you can do some fun thing, little things with your skewers to make it look uh, like you did something really fancy. <laughs> so there you have it. So there's the squeeze bottle. See what it does? It gives you more lines, more definitions. Um, you could do hearts. And, uh, yeah. So there you go. So the squeeze bottles are really cool. You can save your paints in them. That's I've got nice. two large bottles that every time I have leftover paints, I don't have too much today because I grabbed the second one, and I want to fill them up and then I'm just go to pour them on the canvas and see what they look like. But I've been trying to do colors that I think kind of go together with them. Yeah, here I'll show you. So we have a concoction of blues and there's some purples laying up on top of it. I don't shake them, I just put them in there. And then I've got some golds and browns and blues in here. So I'm anxious to see how they turn out. So that will be a good, fun, just ah. leftover paint day. Well, yes. Really, guys. Um, and like um, the cups are the ones that always come out looking the best. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? More of that <laughs> it is pretty. Um, they always come out looking the best. The cups and things like that. Yep. So, alright. Um, so, I did use, let me just recap just quickly and then I'll get off here. I did use net napkin rings. Um, I love these little guys and I use them to hold my uh, circle open. And you can do that. comfortable with your, with what it is that you're doing with it. And Sometimes you wish for the best as you work with it. It's really cool. Um, yeah, I mean, look at this. That looks really neat. That was just about anything that's round that kind of keeps the paint from going into where you want it to go. So you could draw the flowers or the, the circular pattern, which have it. All right, so what do I always say? Go out there, be awesome, be great, and do your thing. And I will see you in my next video. Talk to you soon.